Okay, so right now we will move to making our UVs. You can see I have here a low poly version of our uh, models without our scope, laser and grip. And right now I'm going to show you how to make UVs for a few parts of these weapons. So let's maybe hide these ones to make more space. You can see the weapon itself has uh, 12,000 triangles. So let's select everything. I have UV editor here and let's delete this mess. So right now there is completely no UVs on the models. Let's switch to our UVs, uh, UV shell. I've been explaining in the first video what these icons are doing. So let's start maybe with creating material, checker material. And let's start with something simple like this grid, for example. Let's try to make planar projection. So in order to see our checker material, we have to apply it. So we click this icon and you can see it is here. <coughs> so basic stuff when you have hard edges on the part like this you have to split UVs along these hard edges and in the place where you have smooth edges you don't have to do this but you of course can and everything will be fine so let's maybe cut this here can see that I choose uh, go to shell and it will select everything that is connected and we can unfold something like this with a legacy unfold because in new maya 2015 i believe they add this unfold 3d it's pretty good for unfolding characters and complex meshes let's use legacy right now because i want only vertical uh, unfold this basic stuff like this you can see and of course we have to cut this off in here here we can leave everything connected uh, so you can see we've got a couple of hard edges here so we also should disconnect this And the bottom part uh, also should be disconnected completely. But right now I'm not going to disconnect it. Or I will just select the bottom part of this grid. And I will create a planar projection for, for this.
course we have to take care about the resolution uh, each part so this bottom part with the texture should be exactly the same like this main part so something like this will be okay of course we have to unfold this but right now let's just finish this bottom part I think I will disconnect this part also and this one of course we can use something like this and try to unfold this so it will be probably better if we project it from another side and then unfold it horizontally so it's better I was trying to cut this part on the back but I think the better way will be to do this split on this side so let's do this and let's try to unfold this uh, it looks pretty bad still pretty clean this distortions here shouldn't be a big problem let's make a correct scale and something like this will do the job pretty okay We can make it smaller because it's on the bottom and, and we can put it inside here okay so one more thing to unfold <coughs> it's this little guy here
let's make a planar projection, of course. And let's select the, the sides. So this one can be unfold vertically and we can unfold these a little bit And here, of course, we have to cut these UVs, these UVs, and move because, of course, we have hard edge here, so we have to do this. And of course, we have to scale it right now. Pretty correct. Okay, so this part is done. It was pretty fast. I will show you, of course, few more parts for this weapon, but uh, I will probably talk a little bit less and we will speed up the video a little bit more so you can see a little bit more stuff so this one is a little bit deformed still i think let's unfold this here so sometimes it helps to unfold some parts like this okay so Okay, so let's do right now this upper part. You can see we have uh, lots of these little objects and it will be a really long process. It would be a really long process if we uh, make UVs for each one of these. Uh, we can of course create UV for only this one object and duplicate it. And of course, we will have to merge vertices, etc. But it will be faster. So let's actually create UVs for this one. course you can see the the texture because I didn't apply it yet so let's hit this A1 and you can see we have our texture So this is only one part and now we have to duplicate it
Okay, so you can see our UVs are almost done. I've selected all the parts of the weapon and we can see in UV texture editor how our UVs are looking. You can see that I keep my UVs in groups, in some kind of groups for let's say for the magazine I have this part, for this middle part with the details I have this, these UVs and uh, for the grip for example at this part so i keep them in groups right now uh, what we have to do is of course select everything and put it in this little one by one box so so we have to do this because uh, otherwise our texture will not work properly so to be able to texture the weapon we have to put everything right here so it's it's pretty big challenge because we have lots of parts and we have to pack everything really tight uh, to achieve a uh, best texture resolution so i will show you the final result because this part is just you know moving and scale things into this box so I will show you just the final result okay so you can see the final result for this UV you can see also that I don't have selected our magazine I've decided to put our magazine on a separate uh, texture so for the main weapon we will have 2048 per 2048 texture and the magazine itself will be just uh, 1024 by 1024 pixels so it will be a smaller texture for the magazine you can see that these parts that i have selected are packed really tight in here so it will be a lot of work during the texturing process to, to texture it. And of course we have different parts, I mean, I mean additional parts like the scope and laser sight. So I don't have uh, UVs for th these parts currently but I'm going to make them and the scope uh, will be on the one texture with the laser sight it will be a 2k texture for both these parts and also we've got a grip our grip model and I will put grip model with the magazine on the one texture so i think for this part it's everything uh, we will move right now to explore a little bit about a baking process for the weapon we will be baking normal maps and ambient occlusion map and probably some masks or, or ID masks, ID textures for the weapon.